Okay. All right, so we're here with Jake. We got the Body Procs gear here. Heck yeah. You're gonna try these out. We got the protective knee pads. Oh, yeah, cool. And also the elbow pads. Elbow pads. All right. And then potentially we got the hip gear. And we're going to see what you think about this on the BMX. We have the hip gear for you, but I think we're going to use it for rollerblading. Makes sense. So Let's check gonna... out these here. Got the elbow pads. Ooh. Thank you. That's awesome. Little thank you though. Like that. Like that. Directional. No. Here. They feel pretty durable. Well, still have good mobility. That's very important. Kind of slides right on, you're not fighting it, so that's good. So I'm over here now. What do you think about them so far? That they fit so smart? far, they seem almost perfect. Do they feel just like part of your body, like a sock or a compression? Yeah, exactly. Seat? Like just like a very minimal um, feeling of it. I mean, it just feels like I'm not wearing anything. Benji, he's ready to try some hip pads for the roller skates. Here we go. Because he's multi-dimensional, BMX and roller skate. So we got three different pads here. We got small, medium, and large, hip protection. Let's see what your first impression is. I use these religiously every section I wear them, so Ooh, okay. nice. Seems like. Hold them up to your waist. They look they might look a little small. You might want to go with the, is that the medium? These are the medium. What do you think? Is it large? They should stretch. We do. I own these already. No way. I saw her. Yeah. And what size did you order? Uh, I don't even remember, but I know that I own them. So that's the right size, maybe? I ordered two of them. All right. Yeah, dude, those fit really good. Look at that. All right, so you're all seated up. You got the body pads, knee pads, yeah. the hip pads, and the elbow pads. Fully protected. Back to the nines. Ready to skate. I feel, I feel safe. All right. Is it obvious I'm wearing them? Doesn't feel that obvious. Still got tons of movement. Alright, cool. Take off. Let's see. Dive in. Enjoy. I've been messing around back in the day. I used to be able to do some flips, so thought it'd be cool to launch out of that quarter pipe and try one, and I landed directly on my ass. I don't know, do I have a mark? I landed twice. You on do, my ass. yeah, right over here. Okay. But I don't did it feel hurt, anything. Though? I don't I feel great. I'm ready to give her another roll and see see if I can clean it up right here. Alright. I guess let's see. Let's get it. Yeah! Success! Somebody's enough. Darn it. Flawless execution. They're a little warm, I'll tell you that. They're a little thick. So I don't, I don't know how it would be on a hot summer day if it's 95 degrees out. It might be a little warm since there's not any um, opening here, but I don't know if you get the same fit without it being that way, because the fit's great. The same with the knee pads, you know. I took a couple spills, you know, not, not intentional at all, but definitely put the pads to the test, and I think they really kind of stood the stood to the test and, and protected me. I was able to get right back up and then give it another try on the same trick and land it, so that was kind of cool. Um, for me, I think they look cool. They're slick. I don't feel like a bunch of like bulky 
stuff on me, I could just wear whatever shirt with it and that would work fine. So I think that's something for me that I look for in a pad is like, how easy is it to put on? Can I just slide that thing on and go? Yeah. Or do I have to strap in one, two, three straps and, and do all this stuff and then it's not right, I have to reset everything and, and start fresh. Me, like I like to get in the skate park or get on the bike trails and I like to go. So the faster I can get my pads on, faster I can enjoy myself. So for you, ease of use is something that's really... Ease of use, yep, yeah. ease of use. And surprisingly enough, like normally the, whoever makes these, they always fall down and they're, they're down here below your knee, not offering you the type of like, you know, protection that you need. So these stayed pretty much right in place the whole time throughout the entire session. So when they were dry, when I put them on through sweating and everything like that and working through them, they kind of stayed right where I needed them, which was made me feel better about, um, you know, kind of going out there and pushing the limit a little bit further, knowing that I had, you know, full pads. So here's what I was wearing. I honestly have not even wore these that long, but it, as you'll see the, the quality in, in the pad is just not there. They're kind of tearing apart already. Um, and as I was mentioning earlier, these are super bulky when you put them on. These fall down as well. I'm adjusting them, pulling them up during the full session. So um, I think they kind of missed the mark with those, where these I think really kind of clean it up and offer you everything you need where how you need it so i think that that's important so yeah. you, these there are, are here. A similar design but it's whatever's going to work for you best yeah. you know yeah yeah exactly yeah so I'm, I'm telling you dude i have not had these that not as long as they would look like it you know yeah so so these kind of came by at the right time i think i look like kind of hip and cool now <laughs> cool well so. you got an extra set of pads now so ride safe out there Hell thanks yeah. for your time today yeah <laughs> <laughs>